It's a common sentiment among fans that Kong's portrayal in the MonsterVerse has been somewhat lacking compared to Godzilla. Despite his impressive feats, Kong often seems to play second fiddle to Godzilla, especially in terms of raw power and dominance. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanna extend my gratitude to you for all the support you give for watching my videos. If you are new here, I talk about everything monsters, DC, Marvel, Star Wars, and all the other things, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep the show running, and welcome to Drastic Vision. Let's go. In Godzilla vs. Kong Kong needed significant help, like the axe made from a Godzilla dorsal plate, to stand a chance against Godzilla. This reliance on external aids and allies has led some fans to feel that Kong isn't being given the opportunity to truly shine as the king of the monsters. However, Kong's empathetic nature and his role as a protector of humans add depth to his character. His tragic backstory and his connection with humans, especially through characters like Gia, highlight his unique qualities. For Kong to be seen as a true king of the monsters, the MonsterVerse might need to focus more on his individual strengths and less on his need for assistance. What do you think would help elevate Kong's status in the MonsterVerse? Let me know in the comments down below. To end this video, I think the power gap between Kong and Godzilla now is extremely wide. The writers need to come up with something so that Kong can keep up with future threats. Well, that's what I had for you today, folks. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more content. But for now, you can watch this video here on why Godzilla is being neglected.